guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a real life get ready with me. I'm actually getting ready to go to a friend's birthday party and there's this look I've been wanting to film anyways. And it's kind of like a done up, so to speak, look. So I figured I'll just go ahead, film this video and then I can actually go somewhere with the makeup on. So this is the look that I want to replicate. And I found this picture on Pinterest and I saw it and I was just like, oh my gosh, I have to redo that. It's perfect for the fall. So this is what it looks like. It's so pretty. It's really just kind of a simple look with um, a lot of like bronzer contour highlight and then the lip is the bright like pop of color. So that is what we're going to be recreating today. I did um, buy a lipstick specifically for this. So this is the first time I'm going to be wearing the lipstick, which speaking of which, let me just find a lip balm. Why do I not have a lip balm? Hold on. I'm going to put some lip, on, lip balm on. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start with primer. I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier foundation primer, and this is the hydrating one. And don't mind my nails. They're completely growing out, and this one is like half gone. So sorry about that. <laughs> And because in the picture it does seem like it's very much a full face, I'm going to go in with the Lancome Tint Idole Ultra Wear Foundation. I know I'm saying that wrong. I always do. But uh, this is just a very full coverage foundation. I am in the shade 425 Bisque Warm. So I'm going to start with just one pump of that, but I do want a very full coverage look. Not cakey, but but full coverage. I feel like that's the hard part, trying to find that balance of full coverage but not cake face. Definitely going to go in with another pump. Okay, so for concealer, this is pretty important. I was sitting here trying to figure out which one I wanted to use, but I think I'm going to go with this one. This is by Makeup Forever. This is their self-setting concealer, and it does say light capturing, which is pretty important for this look. Um, I'm in the shade 34. So this is going to be a brightening concealer for sure. And for this, because most of the look is like the face makeup, I'm really just going to take my time and blend this out. Which, honestly, this is like really therapeutic to me anyway, so I love doing this part of the makeup, the makeup routine, just blending. I think I'm gonna add just a little bit more. Normally I wouldn't. This is like more than enough for what I normally do. But I just want to make sure that it's truly like bright. Okay. 
And because this look has so much dimension, I'm actually going to double up with uh, contour. So I'm going to go in with this Cover FX Contour Kit. And this is in the shade N Deep, or this palette is N Deep. And so these are the colors right here. So I'm going to go in with this guy right here. It's like medium tone brown. And I'm going to use it with a Sigma concealer brush. This is the F75. You could just use your finger, but for this, I like to go in at first with a brush. That way you can just be really precise. And I like to try to put it a little higher just because it'll eventually blend down. And then just to brighten a little bit more before we, you know, finish off with powder, I'm going to go in with the Yves Saint Laurent, the Touche Clot pen. I had a whole uh, video on this. So it's basically just like a brightening pen. So I'm going to use this on, I think like the high points. Well, actually, no, I was going to use it on the high points, but I think I'm just going to use it kind of over the concealer just to help really brighten everything up. Okay, so for powder, I'm gonna go in with the Ilia Fade Into You. This is the Soft Focus Finishing Powder. Looks like that. And this is just a, it's like a white, I think it's like a white translucent powder. Well, it doesn't say translucent, but it does say works with all skin tones, so we'll see. Um, and then I'm using that with the Wayne Goss 02 brush. So I just want something that's gonna be specific. So it doesn't, um, I'm gonna try to avoid like all of the cream contour. Oh wow, this is white powder. So I don't know if the camera is picking this up. I think it is because I'm looking at the monitor. This powder is like white. <laughs> um, yeah. In real life, it's not terrible. But then I look over at the monitor and I'm like, I did want a bright highlight, so I don't know. Maybe this will work. I kind of want to just mix it with something else, though, because this is really bright. I think I'm going to mix it with the Marc Jacobs powder, just a little bit. I don't want to lose the brightness, but, ow, I poked myself an eye. I don't want to lose the brightness, but I also don't want to, like, and my, I'm actually going to put, like, more powder on top, so it's going to look even whiter compared to, like, the bronzer and the contour. So I'm going to mix it. Okay, so I changed my mind about the powder. I'm still going to go over it with a yellow powder, a yellowish powder, but I'm not going to use the Marc Jacobs one. I'm going to use my um, Fenty. I haven't used this in a long time, and I have um, the banana shade. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it, it is like a banana shade. So I feel like this is going to help tone down the Ilia powder just a little bit, hopefully. So hopefully that helped. I don't really know if it did. It still looks pretty bright, which is fine. I mean, I do want a bright look, um, but we'll see how it all comes together. So uh, moving on to contour. So I'm going to go in with the little baby hula bronzer, and this is an E50, I believe. Yeah, Sigma E50, and I'm just going to contour my nose. Mm. Mm. 
And then for the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with the Hoola, uh, the Caramel Bronzer. And I'm using the Morphe uh, R10 to do this. It's just a little bit pinched, but it's still pretty fluffy. I love this brush. And what I like to do sometimes is just kind of like place it on my face and then I will wipe the brush off on like a paper towel just to get some excess product off. And then I will start blending afterwards. And then for my forehead, I kind of hate using this for my forehead. I don't know why, I just prefer the Tom Ford one. It's just fluffier. I feel like it covers more like surface area faster. So lots of times I'll just switch and blend out the forehead and then even the chin sometimes. The chin and like the jawline, I'll switch with this brush and then I will take it down the neck sometimes too. Okay, so that is pretty much it for the face. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do, I think I'm going to do a thin layer of eyeliner, definitely mascara and definitely my eyebrows off camera. And then I will be back to finish the look, which is basically just the lip. So the lipstick and the lip liner. I don't have a matching lip liner for the lipstick, but that's fine. I have something I'm sure that I can use. So I will be right back. Okay. So I'm back looking a little crazy, but we're gonna, we're gonna fix this. Um, first the eyes, I got real extra with the eyes and I'm using three mascaras. So first on the top, I did one coat of the Paracone MD. Then on the bottom, I did one coat of the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash. And then I finished the top coat with, um, my Maybelline Lash Sensational. So you definitely don't need to do that. Actually, the girl in the picture, is wearing fake lashes, which I think would look so pretty and just take this look to a whole new level. I just don't ever really do fake lashes, so I'll just load up on mascara. But if you do fake lashes, I think it would look great. Um, and then the eyebrows, I use the Precisely My Brow and my uh, Givenchy Mr. Brow Groom, which mine is looking so gross. <laughs> it's fine, it's just the the product when you're going back and forth in, but it just looks so ugly. I wonder if that's like a marketing, like sales tactic, because like every time it starts to look too grimy, even if there's product, I'm like, oh, I need a new one. Maybe I should stop doing that. Anyways, and then lips. Okay, so this is the same lip liner I use anytime I want to do like a dark, vampy, you know, bold lip, which typically is in the fall. Um, not like a red, but like a plum berry wine color. I always use this lip liner, even if the lipstick is a little bit darker or a little bit lighter than this color. It's just so good. It's by Jordana and it is the easy liner for lips in the shade Plush Plum. I don't even know where I got this. I feel like it was probably on Amazon, but I'll show you guys because my lips have naturally have a little bit of pigment. I'm wearing it right now, but just so you can see like the true color. Oh my God, there we go. Isn't that so pretty? It's just perfect. And it goes with every berry plum color I've ever purchased. Like every single color it goes, this lip liner goes with it. So moving on. <laughs> okay, so the lipstick I'm gonna use is by NARS. It is the Audacious Lipstick in the shade Bet. And I haven't even opened it yet. I purchased it, I don't know, a month or so ago. And I've just been waiting to try it. I think this is magnetic. Yeah, it is. I love magnetic lipstick. I don't know why, but look at this color. Oh my gosh. Does this not screen fall? It's so freaking pretty. Um, and I love how they have their name like engraved on there. <laughs> That's so extra, but I love it anyways. Okay. So I'm going to try this. I wonder if I should swatch it first. No, I'm going to try it on first and then I'll swatch it. Yeah, see, it goes perfect with this lip liner. I'm telling you, every lipstick. thick. 
Okay. So here's what's going on. This color, once I like started building it up, um, and then I was done putting it on and I stepped back and I was like, Oh wow. That's a lot darker than what I was going for. I'm not going to call this a fail. I'm going to call it a derail maybe, but okay. So to be clear, I don't dislike this color. I think it's pretty. It's just darker than what I was going for today. If that makes sense. Um, and as you can see, I don't know if you can see, hopefully you can see, I don't know. Hopefully it's showing up like hers has a little bit more wine berry, just a touch versus mine. That's like very dark. Let me show you. Okay. So I'm going to swatch it. Okay. So this is what it looks like. I mean, as I'm like sitting here talking to you guys, it's kind of growing on me, but last year I did do a video with a dark lip and I used the shade licorice, um, by bite beauty. And I feel like this is the color I was going for. It's like a hairline difference. Like truly, I don't even know if it's going to show up on camera. This one over here is bite and this one right there is NARS. And then that is the lip liner. I feel like it's like a hairline of a difference. It's just a little bit more berry. So at the risk of messing up my entire face, I'm going to try to switch, which switching a dark shade to anything, just taking it off. I feel like it's going to be tricky. So BRB, wish me luck. We're going to see how this goes. A part of me is like, maybe I should just keep it because I don't want to switch it. I don't know what to do. Hmm. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. I'll be right back. Hopefully with some makeup on. Okay. I'm back. I fixed my lipstick. This is the bite beauty one, which is so funny because I purposely bought this NARS lipstick for this specific look. And I ended up not even using it and using the one I already had from last year. Um, side note, I love these, but if you use the bite, what are these called? These are the matte cream lip crayons. If you use these, they will feather. So you have to use the bite, um, their line and define lip primer. It's just clear, but you just want to put it on, on the perimeter, just like as if, you know, you were going to use it as a lip liner. I mean, it is a lip liner basically. Um, but you just put it on and then you can go in with this and it'll just help it not like move and not feather. I did. So I use this first. Then I did use the Jordana. So underneath this licorice color is this shade Jordana. And it, again, it, the shade works with every single berry color. I'm telling you, it's amazing and it's so cheap. So this is the final look <laughs> for not being like a smoky eye or anything really in depth. This took me like a while actually. So yeah. Anyways, I do like the way it turned out though. I'm excited that I actually did it. I even straightened my hair for it just because that girl was, ha she had straight hair. So I was like, oh, I guess I'll straighten my hair. But it worked out because like I said, I'm going out tonight anyway. So something fun. I definitely feel very fall. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. I um, will have all of the lip colors that I use listed down below in case you like any of them. Um, but yeah, thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.